Hello, how are you? Today I want to show you how to make an old-fashioned toy. My grandma used to make this for me when I was a little girl, and she used to play with it when she was little. She had lots of brothers and sisters, and they didn't have a lot of toys to play with, so they made toys from things they found around their house. For this, we're going to just need a few things. We're going to need some string, something to measure the string with. I have this 12-inch ruler and some scissors to cut the string, and a large button. I have this jar full of vintage buttons. I bought this at an antique store. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Look at all my different buttons I have. It's a collection of buttons. There's even a little round bead that keeps trying to roll away. There's buttons of all different sizes in here. Look, I have a small button, some small buttons, and some, look, let's see. Let me find a medium-sized button, a medium button, and some large buttons. We want a large button. Look, this one doesn't even have any holes in it. All right, so if you're going to use a button that has four holes like this, you're going to want to put the string diagonally in the holes. Let's see, which button do I want to use? Ooh, look, look at this nice green button. It has two holes in it. All right, well, I'm going to scoop all my buttons up into a pile. Now I want to measure my string. I'm going to unravel some. We need 36 inches of string to make this toy. All right, so you start at the end and we're going to put the string across the ruler three times. All right, so let's count. There's one, that's 12 inches, two, 24 inches, and three, that's 36 inches. Now I'm just going to cut the string at 36 inches right here. Okay, now what you're going to wanna to do is get your button, your large button, and you're going to put the string through the holes in the button. All right, there's one side and then you're going to pull it and put it through the other side, the other hole. All righty, look at that. Now that it's threaded through both of the holes in the button, you want to make the ends match. So you're going to pull both of the strings together. Now, we're going to close it by tying a knot at the end. If you want to make this, it would probably be a good idea to ask a grown-up or a parent or somebody to help you with tying some knots. Okay, so I have one knot tied and now I'm going to go down about an inch away from that knot and make another knot. This is going to create a loop for my fingers to go in. Okay, went about an inch down there maybe a little longer. See, now I have two knots. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other end of the button, the string, and pull. Make the button go about in the middle. There's another little loop there. We just want to tie a knot on this side too for another place to put your other finger. Okay, now I have two loops on my string. <clears throat> now I'm going to put my finger through the loops. One for each finger on each hand. Okay, see how I have my loop, my fingers in my loops? Now, to play with it, all you're going to do is start rocking it back and forth and you wanna spin it up. You're gonna get it spin, spinning really, really fast and then it's going to make the string tight. It's getting wound up and twisted. So you wanna spin it a bunch of times and it starts to get smaller and it starts to get a little bit tight on your fingers you just want to keep spinning it and spinning it, and then you're going to pull it. Pull it in and out, and in and out. And it starts to make this really neat sound. Let's see if you guys can hear the sound it makes. See, the string goes in and out, and then you just keep going in and out with your fingers. Open and closed. Look at that. Now I have my own little button spinner toy to play with. All right, well that was pretty fun. You could just keep on playing with it. And after a while, the string gets worn out and it'll break. 
But that's okay because you can just make it again. This is something you can make over and over and over again with button, with your large button. All right, friends. Well, I hope you get to make one of these button spinners, and I hope to see you all really, really soon. I miss you, and I hope you're having a great day. All right, we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.